Hello, thanks for joining us. My name is Pearl Lakanyo Fori and this is City News Daily. Coming up in the news today, we'll hear why a licensed U.S. gold buying firm is accusing the police service of corruption in an alleged gold scam. Details of that shortly. A licensed U.S. gold buying firm, Green Global Resources, has accused the Ghana Police Service of corruption in the case of an alleged 1.3 million Ghana CD gold scam. Now, in March this year, the then East Ligon Police Commander DSP Imano Basintali and six others were interdicted after they allegedly seized 11 gold bars from the firm. Uh, speaking at a press conference today, the Director of Strategy and Business Development of the firm, James Barbieri, claims the leader of the fraud syndicate, Courage Kobe, has been left off the hook by the police service while he believes Courage Corby is being protected by a higher authority in the Ghana Police Service. In other news for today, the Ministry of Health says it is to blame for the confusion that has hit the Tamale Teaching Hospital in the northern region. Two youth groups affiliated to the governing New Patriotic Party clashed yesterday over the continuous stay in office of the current Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Prosper Akambum, who is reported to have refused to vacate his post with the excuse that he has not received any notification to that effect. Speaking to City News Daily on this matter, the Public Relations Officer of the Ministry of Health, Robert Kujo, said his ministry had not served Dr. Prosper Akambum with his letter terminating uh, the contract. Therefore, uh, his continuous stay in office. Meanwhile, there is heavy security at a Tamale Teaching Hospital. The Accra Metropolitan Assembly says it has shut down six illegal landfill sites in the metropolis. Uh, the six include a huge site on the Mortuary Road behind the International Central Gospel Church. While well, the Accra Metropolitan Assembly currently has no permanent landfill site, the situation has forced most residents to create their own dam sites. Now, speaking to City New Daily on this matter, the director of the AMA's Waste Management Department, Antony Mensa, said the assembly had created other sites where refuse can be dammed. Meanwhile, the assembly has given a two-week ultimatum to settlers along the Kolobu traffic light through the ICGC area to remove their structures or be forcefully evicted. Now to some sad story, and a police officer has been shot dead by two unknown assailants. The officer, Michael Poi, was shot dead in the face and the chest at Tulakunia Michel Camp in Accra. Michael, who is believed to be in his 30s, was on patrol duties in the area when the two armed men shot and killed him. City News Daily's Caleb Kuda has been following the story and has filed this report. The incident occurred around 9.30 p.m. yesterday, and according to police sources, duty men at Tulaku Old Barrier Checkpoint called the Tema Information Room with a report that two armed men on a motorbike had shot a police officer on a motorbike to death at UBA filling station near Michel Camp Road. They indicated that the body was found lying in a nearby bush in a pool of blood. Upon reaching the crime scene, the deceased was identified to be Constable Michael Poi, who was detailed for motorbike patrol duty. According to eyewitnesses, two armed men also riding motorbike from behind the policeman suddenly started shooting at the deceased and thereafter sped off to an unknown destination. The deceased fell into a nearby gutter. Inspection on the deceased body showed multiple gun wounds on the chest and eyebrow, one AK-47 rifle, one pepper spray, a pair of handcuffs and a torchlight were found with the deceased. That will be all for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Paola Kanyo Furi. Thanks so much for your time and thanks for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us on 0243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.